The Grid View widget is a structure where you can put multiple widgets into columns and you can create multiple columns and place your widgets inside. In this video I will show you how the Grid View works in detail. I will build with you this example and I also will go over some other examples with you. To get started I go here to the scaffold to our body property and here I put a new method inside where we want to build our grid view inside. And the first thing I like to do with you is to call here this gridview.builder and inside of it we need to set some properties mandatory. So first of all we need to set here a grid delegate and I will later tell you about what this is doing. Then we need to define here how many items our grid view should have and therefore we first of all create here this numbers.length so we need to create this list of numbers which we want to place inside and therefore I go here to the top of our state and I generate 100 numbers and I don't want to have the number I want to have a string and therefore I convert here the index which we get to a string and then we have here 100 numbers as a string. Next to the item count we also need to place here our item builder and this is responsible to show actually the widget which we want to display and here inside we get a context and an index and the index is important and what we basically get here is if we have 100 numbers we get here every time a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3 so he will build every item individually and give us here this index and out of this index we can then get the right number and this number we want to display right now in a widget. So we create here a new method where we want to build this widget to create this number and inside we put our number inside. Now we create here this widget to display actually something in the grid view because the grid view is done. However, we also need to display something inside. So I will simply start here with the container and then I put here a grid tile inside. So this is basically what you can use if you want to have a grid view and then you put a grid tile inside but you can also place your other widgets inside like you want and this grid tile has three properties so the first one is the header and if you look here at this example this is the header then we have here a child property and a footer at the bottom and this is basically what we want also to put here inside so what we do is we put here some text inside which says header and then the current number and we align it to the center. Then we also do this here for the child property. We center it and then we put your text inside with our number and we align it also to the center. And the last thing is the footer and here we also put a text inside and align it to the center. So this is really basic. You have here three widgets which are displayed under each other and now I will also put here some padding also inside inside of the container and I will also put here the color to orange so that we actually can see something and now we have here different items and every time every item here is created with this build number and this number we get here every time inside with our item builder so this will give us first of all the index 0 then it is building here this item, then in the next step it is getting here the index 1 and then we build this item until we have built all the 100 items which we have here in our list. Now I like to show you all the other properties which this grid view has and you see they have a lot of properties. By the way, if you want to get the source code of this example, you can get it with the first link in the description box and with the second link you get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a efficient Flutter developer. The first properties we can use here are in our grid delegate and right now we have here cross axis count of 2. We can also change it for example to 3. Then we have 3 columns next to each other and if you want to have more columns then you also can put here more inside. Next to it we also have here this property child aspect ratio and this will care about how much of our child gets stretched. So we have here a ratio of 1 to 3 which means we have 1 in width and 3 in height and you also can change it here to 1 divided by 2 and this means we have here 1 in width and 2 in height so the height is 2 times bigger than the width 
and here you can basically change it to the aspect ratio you like but you don't need to use it if you don't want. And then we also have here the main axis spacing and this will be the spacing here between our rows. So every time you have here between the rows a spacing of 4, you can also put your higher value, for example 8, and then you have here 8 spacing between the rows. Then we also have the cross axis spacing and this is for the columns the spacing. So here we have right now 4 and you can also put here for example 8 inside, then you have more spacing between your columns. And if you have multiple columns like here, for example you put here 3 inside, then you have also here every time this space between them. Then you can also add here a padding, so we put it to our grid view and this means that we have here some padding around our grid view and you can also modify how much you want to have here, so you can also make it smaller, let's say 4 and then you have little padding here only around your widget. And at the end of this video I also want to show you how you can use a scroll controller to jump between your items or better to say between the beginning of your list and to the end of the list. And therefore we first of all create here a scroll controller and then we need to put this controller inside of our grid view. So I will add it here to the grid view and now we can use this controller. So we will create here in our app bar some actions and inside we want to create two icon buttons. So first of all one icon button and this is an error up key. So basically what we want to have here is that every time if we press here on this arrow up then it is scrolling all the way up and if we press here on the right side arrow down then it is scrolling all the way down to the last item in the list. And yeah basically we have here one icon button and then we can call here this controller which we have wired up with our grid view already. And now we can say here okay jump to the first position in the list and this is pretty easy, we simply add here the value of 0 and this means that he will jump to the origin to the beginning of the list. Or better to say in this case to the beginning of the grid view. And yeah, we also have then a second button with a down arrow key and here inside it is a little bit more complicated but it's also fine. So we also call here controller.jump2 and this time we create a value and this value we get from the controller and here we get the max scroll extent and this means basically the end of the list. So he will jump to the end of the list if we put this value here inside and we can try it now out. So if I click here on this down arrow key it should jump to the last position and you see I cannot go further anymore. It is the last position and if I click on this arrow key then he will jump all the way up and we are at the beginning of the list or of the grid view again. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!